back to V-Vlogs. We almost just got rear-ended. <laughs> we almost just died. I don't think we would have died, but <laughs> this car would have, absolutely. We had to like kind of slow down on the highway until we crept to a stop and there was a van behind us that I guess wasn't paying attention or texting or whatever. And he had to slam on his brakes and like, you know when you slam on your brakes so hard that you can't even control like the car, like it yeah. kind of swivels. So we almost got rear-ended real hard, but we're okay. We're okay now. And uh, we are in the car, but we're not going to our usual places. We're going there. I don't know if it's focusing, but we're going there. They didn't even show it. Probably <laughs> not, probably not. We're going to a lunch right now, specifically because they have really good lobster rolls here. That's the only <laughs> reason, that's the occasion. The lobster rolls are dope. They're so good. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna have our lobster roll. This is gonna be like the one day where they're like, sorry, we're out of lobster. That happens Just... every time we go anywhere, Jess. Like even on our honeymoon that we had, yep. we were told go to this restaurant because they have a lobster mac and cheese that you would have loved. Loved the day before they swapped out their menu. Yeah, they didn't save any for me. We're gonna go and see, and then we're gonna go to Indigo because I wanna go find a graphic novel that I've been looking at. It's like a horror graphic novel. And then we're gonna do some shopping. And by shopping, I mean, I'm gonna wander into a store for 30 seconds and leave because I'm not a good shopper. Yeah, you go and touch a few shelves and maybe yeah. fling a few things. <laughs> I don't and fling. then you're like, yeah, I'm good. Jess, I've been clothing shopping with you so much. You just go, you look at something, you go, Okay, but you must love that. Because... I mean, yeah, because we're in and out pretty quick, but then I also feel like the entire thing's a rush. Not like you're feeling a rush. It's more no. so just like there's something else that you'd rather be doing kind of I don't of like deal. shopping, I'm bad at it. I'm not good at it, but we're gonna try it today. So come with us. All right, so we're back home and I'm sitting at what is currently being used as my craft table. It's supposed to be a dining room table, but it's a mess, okay? Got all kinds of crafting stuff, string, all kinds of stuff in front of me. Cause I'm currently working on two projects. In the last vlog, you saw like kind of a sneak peek of one that I'm keeping very, very secret. It has to do with Jessaline. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, you guys are gonna love it. But the other project, I don't really care too much about keeping it secret, but it's one that I'm very, very excited about. I've been working on it just in the past day and it's mystery book packs. So if you guys have heard of like date with a book, it's kind of like that, except I've branded it in my own way and I've called it Peculiar Pages. And the slogan is unwrap your mystery book and enter another world. And look at how I packaged it. Isn't it so cute? So it comes with a tea bag and it also comes with a bookmark. And the bookmark is really cool because you can actually mark off with a pen the different books that you're reading and you can also rate them on your bookmark. And they come in a bunch of different colors. There's different um, flavors of tea. And then each one is gonna have a cute little kind of unique charm around the bow and a different you know sticker and they're all gonna look very different different colors and yeah i even designed the stamp myself on here but they're really cool because they're essentially new books i say new books in quotes because they are mine they have been on my shelves but they're books that i either started and didn't really feel like it was personally my interest or books that I never got to that were just completely new but sitting on my shelf. So I have like 200 books that I really wanna wrap up. And just to show you kind of like different how they look and stuff, this is a greenish one. I mean, they're all really cool. I love the little charms on them. So I'm working on these right now and I'm probably gonna put them on Etsy next month, but I'm so excited. And on each spine, I have written the genre. So this one is horror and it's a paperback. So that's all you get to choose. 
but then you don't know what horror book you're getting if that makes sense so i thought i would show you guys how i make them because it's super fun and yeah let's get crafting So you just want me to open this, that's all that's happening. There's something scary inside. We're almost filming this like a snuff film. <laughs> There's no context. I'm given a mystery box. Could it be something fun? I don't know. Could it be something terrifying? Maybe. It could just be something completely dangerous. Open it and meet your death. Now I don't want to open it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, open it. Okay, so we received this package, what, two days ago? Yeah. You didn't tell me what it was, just that you said you think I should do it. I can tell you it's from the 1920s. The scary bubble wrap. To add on, Jess, to how old this is, it came with a Werther's original. From when? <laughs> I don't know. The suspense is over. Why do they package them like this? It's in a grocery bag. What you get at the produce aisle. It's a head in a bag. Bring her closer to the camera. She's smiling. Why? Where's the rest of it? Or do they just sell them as this? Just a doll head. That was actually the cheapest version I could get. <laughs> what do you mean the cheapest? If you want their body, it's $300. It sounds like ransoming. <laughs> yeah, I could only afford the head, so. Okay, why do we have this? Um, so that is a googly eye doll that was all the craze in the 1920s. Okay, Obviously, get it out of the bag. It, it might be a biohazard, but. Smell it. No. Smell it. No. Oh, look, we can put it on our Christmas tree. Okay, but she's so cute. Is it though? She's really cute. I feel like we just unearthed like an ancient family curse right now. <laughs> she's so cute and terrifying. Her eyes actually look glossy. And she's doing like that smile you give to people in the grocery store when you pass them. You know what I mean? You mean the white people smile? The white people smile. <laughs> Why are you poking her? I didn't know if the eyes moved. Do they? Right now they're looking to the left right now. Yeah. Camera's right. It looks like it's looking at the camera. I know, but if it starts looking the other way at any point, that's how we know. So that's actually why people got these dolls. It's because it looked like the eyes would follow you around the room. So it made the doll look more realistic and childlike. But I feel like any way you turn her head, she's looking at me. I'm glad that you got this so you can deal with this. I'm not putting it in the pile. I think you should. All right, fine. making sure this thing can't get out. Unfortunately, the only tape at hand right now is masking tape, so. You're wasting all my precious bookmaking tape. I mean, that really didn't do very much, but I feel a little bit more comfortable. With this terrifying discovery, thank you, Jess, for this, you know. My birthday was only a few weeks ago, but I'm glad that you keep giving me random gifts that make me horribly disturbed. On that note, we're gonna close off today's vlog. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll say for both of us, thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next vlog. See you guys. Bye.